Well, a blessed and beautiful good morning to all of you under the sound of my voice. Welcome again to Moments of Inspiration with your friend Minister Rick coming to you from Hatchet Bay, Luther in the Bahamas. And today, I want to talk to us on the subject, lazy people. <laughs> lazy people, yes, I want to talk about that today. Oxford School Dictionary defines the word lazy as not wanting to work or doing little work. Not wanting to work or doing little work. Do you know any lazy people? I know plenty of them. Are you lazy? Yeah, you. I have lazy friends, lazy family members. I have lazy co-workers. I have lazy, I know lazy politicians. I know lazy police officers, yes. Defense force officers, civil servants. Oh, I know plenty lazy civil servants. I know plenty lazy church people. I just simply know plenty lazy people. Is laziness a sin? Let's talk about it. You know, in Matthew chapter 25, there's a story where a man was going away. And he called three of his servants and he gave each of them five talents, three talents, and one talent. Now immediately, the one with the five talents went out and invested that and doubled it and, and ended up having ten talents or ten bags of gold. The one with the three bags of gold, the two bags of gold, sorry, went and doubled that and he ended up at four. But the lazy bum with the one bag went out and dig a hole and buried it in the ground. My goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Now here, here, listen to what the master said to that lazy man when he came back from Matthew chapter 25. But the master replied, you wicked and lazy servant. You think I'm a hard man, do you? Harvesting crops I didn't plant and gain, gathering crops I didn't cultivate? Well, you should have at least put my money into the bank. Uh-huh. So I could have gotten some interest. Taking the money, take that money from the servant and give it to the one with the ten bags. To those who use well what they are given, even more will be given to them. Mm -hmm. And they will have an abundance. But from those who are unfaithful, yeah, even what little they have will be taken away. Watch this. Now throw this useless servant <laughs> into outer darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Laziness is a sin. Here are some references from more references from the Bible about laziness. In Proverbs chapter 12, verse 24, it says, Diligent hands will rule, but laziness will end in forced labor. Proverbs 19 and 15 says, Laziness brings on deep sleep, and the shiftless go hungry. Ecclesiastes 10, 18 says, Through laziness, the rafters sag. Because of idle hands, the roof leaks. I knew somebody who moved out of their bedroom because the roof had a hole in the, in, inside of it. When it wasn't raining, it was too hot to fix the hole. When it started to rain and it was leaking, they moved out of the room. That's a lazy poison. Colossians chapter 3 verse 23 says, Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters. Proverbs 10 and 4 says, lazy people will soon be poor. Yeah, lazy people will soon be poor. Hard workers get rich. First Timothy 5 and 8 says, anyone who does not provide for their families, especially their own household, has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. The King James Version says, worse than an infidel. Genesis 2 and 15 says, The Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. We were made to work. Proverbs 10, 5 says, He who gathers crops in summer is a prudent son. 
but he who sleeps during the harvest is a disgraceful son. Are you lazy? Yeah, you. Are you lazy? You are in plenty trouble if you're lazy. My advice to you today is read Matthew 25 again. Discover that you don't need to be lazy. You only need to trust and depend on God. Get up. Go to work. Do something. <laughs> Laziness is a sin. Sila. Think and act on those things. God bless you today.